Right now at 5.30, heart-stopping video shot by a local 10 viewer who is desperately trying to drive away from a tornado in Pompano Beach. And another tornado in Northeast Miami-Dade peeled off part of this roof of an apartment building. You can see right inside. And farther north along Fort Lauderdale Beach, this high wind did a real number on all of these beach chairs, scattering them all over the sand. And then at this Harley D Davidson dealership in Miami Gardens, we found rows of expensive rides knocked down by the storm. The National Weather Service confirming two tornadoes touching down today, one in Pompano Beach and the other one in Northeast Miami-Dade. Our live team coverage continues right now with Local 10's Michael Seiden. He's live in Northeast Miami-Dade. Michael. Well, good afternoon. This massive cleanup under the way. We've got guys on the ground with chainsaws and then look up in that tree. Another guy with a chainsaw. I mean, there is debris all up and down this street. And earlier today, some homeowners couldn't even get out of their homes because of all the debris that had piled up in front of it. For some, it felt like a hurricane. This is worse than uh, Andrew. This 24 year old says he's finally catching his breath. I saw spinning in front of me right right down there right down the street. He captured this compelling video on his iPhone while driving to work Tuesday morning. It was crazy man crazy crazy crazy. I've, I've never run so fast in my life. The National Weather Service says it was an EF1 tornado that blew through the Sky Lake neighborhood here in Northeast Miami Dade. This is just an example of what homeowners are dealing with. Take a look at this mess. You can see the toppled trees and the debris that is blocking their front door. They're able to carve a little hole and when they walked out to their front lawn, they were greeted by this mess. This street covered with debris, down power lines, even this trampoline went flying. We met this homeowner who showed us where a portion of a tree came crashing through his roof. Just looking at this, pretty stunning, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't really have that kind of thing around here, so it's uh, kind of shocking to just come home and realize that a tornado's passed through. Truck starts shaking. I was scared to death. I actually jumped on the floor of the truck. And back out here live uh, again, the cleanup effort continues. You know, one of the biggest complaints here, though, has been when is that power going to come on? Well, I just got word from a couple homeowners. They told us that power should be restored around 8 o'clock tonight. So some good news for these people who have been dealing with this massive cleanup. For now, we are live in Northeast Miami-Dade. I'm Michael Seiden. Local 10 News. Michael, thank you. We are speaking with a homeowner in Lighthouse Point whose backyard was blown away by one of those tornadoes today. Local 10's Derek Shore joins us live with her story. Derek. And when you see that backyard, you will know what we're talking about. We're actually out front right now on 20th Terrace, and you can see some of the other damage left behind. That is a carport. The roofs uh, just completely peeled back off of the top of it. As we step over here, you can see there are pieces of a fence, a tree down, pulled right from its roof after a crazy day here in Lighthouse Point. Neighbors live here in Lighthouse Point for the quiet. <laughs> But not today. Before the sound of chainsaws and work crews, it was the sound of Mother Nature. Sound like a freight train going through. For Taryn Palo, it was followed by another loud crash. I heard a big, huge crack. That must have been this being ripped out. A giant tree slamming to the ground in her backyard. And to give you an idea just how incredible these winds were, this is the base of a mango tree that was snapped off like a twig, and then it was sent flying about 30 feet into the backyard. Her once enclosed porch, now an outside porch. Her roof damaged. Her electricity line snapped. Just down the street, a trampoline sent flying, now dangling from high above. The trampoline was in their yard over here on the corner, and when we came out, it was just up into the power lines. But Paul Hammett had his own issues to think about. We literally saw this big tree fall into uh, my car, my truck. So if you cut this one yeah, right I'm here, cut this one you now. cut like up top right yeah. there. Crews working to gently remove that tree as the community tries to catch their breath. We've had hurricanes blow through, but there was nothing like this. And back out here live, you can see that trampoline up there in the wires still dangling at this hour. It's unclear when it will be able to come down safely. The next step for a lot of people will be to get their insurance adjusters involved, and the cleanup is well underway, but it will likely take some days. We are live in Lighthouse Point. Derek Shore, Local 10 News. Some headaches for them, no doubt. All right, Derek, thank you. And some incredible stories of survival coming out of the twin tornadoes. We're hearing from a Hollywood man who had to rescue his neighbors from their mobile home after a tree fell, trapping them inside. 
Local 10's Leanne Mordejon is live with their story. Leanne. And Victor, when you look at the damage left behind, it's incredible that this couple even made it out alive. Take a look at what was left behind. This is what is left of this mobile home. You can see debris just everywhere, pieces of that tree that fell. In fact, if you zoom in a little bit, you can see right there that flat screen TV the couple says they were watching just before that tree came crashing in. Right now, our representative from the Red Cross is here helping this couple out. At this point, they are homeless. A neighbor recorded the torrential rain, the wind whipping trees, even a spark in the sky. Strong storms tearing through a Hollywood neighborhood, toppling this giant tree onto a mobile home and the couple inside. I look and she's underneath the rubble, which is underneath the tree that's crashed through the house. The whole tree fell on my head. The whole house fell on my head. They were screaming and yelling. They couldn't get out. Neighbor Thomas Mazias ran next door and pried a door open to get them out. He came running. Over and he, he saved our life. Just one of several storm stories coming out of Hollywood. A tree piercing through this man's kitchen. I just fell in the roof. Something broke. I saw a big tree inside my house and a lot of water. Residents running for cover. We went right into the bathroom and stacked up the, all the pillows off the couch around us and prayed to God we were going to make it. <laughs> I watched my trampoline literally go about 30 feet in the air and fly backwards and my son saw it and started crying naturally. He just got it for Christmas. These folks thankful they live to tell the tale, picking up the pieces left of their homes. I have no house. I have no car now. I'm devastated. I think without, without the help of our neighbors, we would be homeless. We have nowhere to go. And back out live here to that bedroom window you see right there just crushed under the weight of that tree. You can see the SUV there in the distance. Its back window completely crushed some side windows as well. The good news is they were able, able to drive it out from under the rubble. And so it seems that the car is still drivable. At last check, it seems that the amount of people with their power out has gone down from hundreds to now dozens of customers without power. FPL working to restore electricity in this area. We are live in Hollywood tonight. Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. And Leanne, one of those twin tornadoes causing a lot of damage near the Pompano Beach Air Park. Stables were torn apart and at least one horse was injured. Local 10 certified meteorologist Trent Eric is live with more on this damage. Trent. Yeah, you know, with the damage we've seen out here in Pompano Beach today, it's amazing that there was only one injury. And that injury, well, it was a horse. We had. Um, Horses tossed about. We had horses that were blocked in by trees. One of them was injured. Um, luckily, we don't have any people injured, but we have a lot of damage. And unfortunately, one of our friend's horses got very hurt. That horse was Elvis, a 17 year old barrel racer. His owner, Janice, got the call shortly after 7 30. A bunch of horses were loose, trailers were over, and so we knew a tornado came through here. And they went around right away and checked the horses, and all the horses seemed fine. And they checked one side of Elvis and thought he was fine, and somebody went around a few minutes later and saw a big hole in him. Elvis's side was hit by a hinge from the damaged stall. It was a half an inch from puncturing his lung. The other horses weathered the storm okay. My horse, Prince, in the next stall, he was fine but covered with dirt. And I don't know how it happened here that all of the trees fell out away from mine, but everybody else's, their trees fell in, so... I guess she had her angel with her today. These are our babies. I run a therapeutic riding program here called You Can Ride. So these horses work with children, veterans, and adults with disabilities. So it was very nice to know that our horses were okay. And the good news here tonight is that's the man of the hour. That is Elvis recovering nicely here tonight. It's dinner time. He's up and walking, and when he's got his appetite like this, Janice tells us that's always a good sign. Underneath the blanket there, his wound is healing up. It's amazing how much better it looks. We would show it to you, but we want this guy to rest up here tonight. So coming out of Pompano Beach, all great news. Elvis doing okay. We're live, Pompano Beach meteorologist Trent Eric. We like to see Elvis doing well. Trent, thank you. And we're also getting some incredible images of the twin tornadoes from you, the local 10 viewer. Amy Viteri is going through all of those pictures and videos and joins us now from the newsroom. Well, Janine, Victor, we have spent the afternoon looking at images from all over the affected areas. People have been sending us their videos, giving an up-close look at the force of these tornadoes and the damage once they passed. 
Tuesday morning, surveillance cameras of the Tequesta Cove in Miramar show winds drag a large potted plant and debris across the driveway. Another view shows a wave of debris and the wind brings down a tree. In Hollywood, a viewer sent us video of driving rain and wind. Then this terrifying dash cam video from a driver in Pompano who spots a large funnel crowd taking shape and touching down. And on I-95, traffic at a standstill after a tractor trailer overturned and the storm left a path of debris slowing traffic. In Sunny Isles Beach, chairs were overturned and a pool left full of debris. But in Aventura, what looked like a large funnel cloud was caught on camera. Nearby at the Aventura Harbor Apartments, this tree came down and took a chunk of pavement with it. Our crews also found large trees uprooted along US-1 and Northeast 183rd Street. Some of those came to rest on top of cars. And in Miami Gardens, video at a playground shows a tricycle sitting on top of a toppled tree's roots after it crashed down onto a fence. The storms also affected power. We saw crews working on a damaged pole and lines in Davie. In Lighthouse Point, a large power pole fell to the ground on 30th Avenue and downed trees covered a car. The heavy rains left plenty of communities dealing with flooding Tuesday. This neighbor tried to rake debris through the standing water, one of many now cleaning up. And looking at all that video, it is hard to believe there have been no reports at this time of any people seriously hurt in these storms. Remember, you can always send us your photos when it's safe to do so at share at local10.com.